Please enjoy this dramatic reading from Ataski's first book, No Demons But Us. I glanced around the chamber. It was still empty. Just me and the Sathote, both naked, and him with an erection. The demon blood breathed in my scent with evident pleasure, but dared not lean more than his head over the line drawn between us. I sat, protected, inside a diamond-shaped inlay. I knew his kind couldn't bear to breach it. However, I did not know what to do. What was expected? I didn't understand why I was here. Perhaps I was to be toyed with in twisted games before being killed for some imagined slight against one bitter crone. Yet, on my way here, my collector had warned me, You'll miss your chance, Serana. What chance? What did they want to see? The Sathote leaned down and licked my ankle. I flinched, although it hadn't felt unpleasant, just different. When I stared, studying him, he hissed. His hand reached to stroke his erection a few times, to delay the groin ache that would come if he wasn't allowed release soon. I was fascinated, but still unsure I could become interested in a half-demon scraping at my feet for a pat on the head. It didn't make me eager to open my legs. I wondered, instead, what would he do if I was outside the border? Was bowing and scraping for sex his first choice? Or how he was trained by the priestesses? I slid my foot toward the edge of my protective border. The movement caught his attention, and his eyes were pinned to my progress. When I stopped short of it, his yellow eyes glanced up at me, but returned quickly, as if he might miss the briefest opportunity of my toe reaching that vulnerable edge. My heartbeat sped up, as a predator's gaze fixed on my foot. Not a dumb beast, or a fawning pet. There was power there. Something to give, something to take. He was half dark elf after all. Dare I do it? Did I have any understanding of what I tempted? No, I didn't, but I'd learned at court that most of gaining control of any situation was acting like I did. If nothing else, it would be more interesting than sitting here, and it would be my choice. <sighs> Risk nothing, gain nothing. I scooted forward and thrust my entire foot outside of the garnet border. The Sathote froze for the instant it took to understand that I was his. Then, he seized my ankle with one hot hand yanking me out of the diamond with one pull. I lay on my back, staring up at him. Kicking with my free foot, I struck him hard in the chest with my heel. He growled and dragged me the rest of the way out, so that he could kneel between my legs and lean above me. He bared his knife-sized teeth in a snarling, eager smile. I roared with all the bluster I could bring to bear. Don't. You. Dare. Rising up like a serpent, I swatted him open-handed across the face. The sound of the slap echoed perfectly in the chamber. The demon blood dumbfounded for as long as it took the echo to fade. His grip loosened on my ankle. I slipped free, rolling to my feet to gain distance before I faced and glared at him. A brief pause, and then his snarl returned as he made eye contact with me. He charged. We hope you enjoyed this reading. For more from this book, The Sister Seekers, and more, visit ataski.com.